Greetings, adventurers. Ave Mortem here to answer the burning questions that the returning Damon Kim, Invin, Baggins, and Dante have incessantly ignored in their multiple videos about the upcoming New World Brimstone Sands expansion. These burning questions, of course, have to do with the penultimate end game activity. Fishing. Warning. There will be spoilers. I spent about three hours running around the Brimstone Sands map, trying to stay alive and searching out the fishing hotspots. So let's take a look at this Brimstone Sands map. At first glance, there are a number of areas that look ripe for some fishing hotspot. In reality, probably about three quarters of the water shown on the map is actually sulfuric acid. This is a new mechanic that will require chitlin armor to add acid resistance to your person. Otherwise, you will surely perish, as I did multiple times. I'm sure someone else has done a video on chitlin armor, which I'll link to in the description once I find it. These are the actual freshwater, saltwater, non-acidic areas. In my three plus hours, I located only three fishing hotspots in Brimstone Sands. Going from north to south, they are a waterfall rare hotspot, quenching broad hotspot, and the rock bay broad hotspot. Yes, that's right. There are currently on the PTR no three star fishing spots in Brimstone Sands. Meaning it joins First Light and Everfall as the third territory without a three-star fishing hotspot. The two-star Waterfall Rare hotspot is just north along the road from the capital city. It is in a resource-rich area for herbs, weirdwood, and moats, so it will probably be a well-fished out hole. All the banks of the fresh water in Brimstone Sands are filled with crocodiles and alligators who will mob you and rip you up even if you're in that bougie 625 gear. So if you're fishing this hole, it is recommended to mount a rock to avoid pulling aggro while casting. The one star quenching broad hotspot is located in a nook of the oasis. There are two desert prisma blooms and a supply crate located behind it. And there is a surprise for anyone who goes after that, whether the hotspot is active or not. It's an Oasis vibe. Now, I'll be honest, I was in fishing gear the first time I came here, and I got wrecked. Needless to say, I learned my lesson. Personally, I really actually liked this. This was a great changeup from the devs in making sure that the fishing bots stay away. Interesting tidbit. It does look like if you don't physically cross that threshold of the hole, you won't aggro the vine. So if you're just looking for the fish, you should be fine to just cast away. The Desert Prisma Bloom, by the way, can provide both red and green pigment so that's a nice touch and makes aggroing that vine actually worth it. Very excited for the new dye colors too. The one star Rock Bay Broad Hotspot is a bit out from the shore. Unless you have a 45 meter cast, you won't be able to reach it from the rocks off to, to the left. It'll be important to get deep enough in the water that you don't unintentionally aggro the gators guarding the shoreline. Because again, those things, even in 625 gear, are pretty OP. And unless you're a healer, that fishing gear fight isn't one you necessarily want. As for the actual fish available, well, I fished each hole out twice, and these are what I came up with. I did have three houses with fishing trophies and full vengeful gear, but I wasn't able to pull a legendary. The oysters are good because oysters produce pearls. Everything else is, well, pretty mediocre. Admittedly, my bait wasn't the best. Here's an interesting thing about Brimstone Sands. 
The young scorplings are actually crushable under your boot or roll. And when you skin them, you walk away with meat bait. I was also able to get woodlouse bait from some bushes and night crawlers from some flint. But I wasn't able to find any bulrush in brimstone sand, so I had to run to Morningdale to harvest some firefly bait. Make sure to bring your bait. Treasure chests, for the most part, are typical of the usual pulls. Although the one treasure chest I pulled from the Rock Bay Broad Hotspot yielded six items, as opposed to the usual three to four. So perhaps we are seeing a buff to treasure chests from one star spots, which would be nice. In conclusion, Brimstone Sands fishing outlook is relatively bleak based on what we see on the PTR. Now it's important to note that they may change the ratings once the expansion is actually released, or maybe add some additional spots. Hopefully they toss in another spot or two, or at least make one of these a three star. There's definitely some room on the shoreline towards Evanscale Reach. And between the capital and Rock Bay, they could easily toss another uh, hot spot in that watery area over there with all of the crocodiles. And as much as bleak, but as bleak as the outlook is for fishing, I have to be honest, for all other aspects of the game, the outlook is tremendously positive. I'm excited to go to Brimstone Sands and even to go there to fish just because of how refreshing everything is. And not for nothing, the Chitlin armor looks like fire. Okay, it looks like some samurai armor. Um, so, yeah. Overall, while the fishing outlook is bleak, uh, the rest of Brimstone Sands looks like fire. And that concludes my overview of the real new world and game of fishing. If you enjoyed it, I would appreciate if you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. Those, it doesn't cost you anything. It will help my channel greatly. Thanks so much for watching and be well.